the itel s24 or the techno spark 20 with a budget of around 100 dollars you can buy any of them but which phone is the right one they both appear to have similar specs on paper but which one performs better and if camera is your priority which phone snaps better pictures let's jump straight into it and share everything we need to know about both phones in case you are making a decision to buy any of them Starting with the design, the Techno Spark 20 is looking like an iPhone with the camera cutout at the back. We have a cycle camera ring at the back of the ITL S24 and it looks quite unique. Which design do you prefer? Let us know in the comment section. Both phones have a plastic back and frame. We have a matte plastic finish at the back of the Spark 20 while the back of the ITEL S24 is glossy. My color of the ITEL S24 does a good job at hiding stains and smudges. They both have rounded edges and sit comfortably in the hand. Zekno Spark 20 is a little bit heavier in the hand. You can see the color change on the back of both phones depending on how light reflects on them. They both have a side-mounted fingerprint scanner that is relatively fast and the button also doubles as the unlock key on both phones. You get a stereo speaker on both phones which is great and both phones support dual 4G SIM cards with a slot for memory expansion. They both have a USB-C charging port and a headphone port at the bottom. They both have a good good quality but the ITEL S24 feels a bit more comfortable in the hand because of the size and the overall width. In terms of design for me, the ITEL S24 is the winner. It's a unique phone and it's also a bit lighter in the hand. This aspect is subjective though as there are people that would definitely prefer the looks of the Techno Spark 20. What about the display? Are there any differences? Well, they both have a 6.6 inch IPS LCD display with a 90 Hz refresh rate and 720p resolution. Both displays are bright and you get up to 500 nits of brightness outdoors. They are both responsive to touch and you can stream videos on YouTube at up to 2K resolutions. You get a punch hole cut out on the display of both phones and the bezels around the display are somewhat the same. If I'm to need speak, then I'll say the bezels on the ITEL S24 are a tiny bit smaller, especially the chin at the bottom. You get the same option in display settings of both phones. The refresh rate makes scrolling smoother on both phones and this aspect is just a tie and I cannot pick one over the other if display is the only decision I'm trying to make. In terms of software, they are both running on Android 13 and we have ITEL OS 13.5 on the ITEL S24 and HRS 13.5 on the Techno Spark 20. As far as I'm concerned, both operating systems look similar. You get everything available on the Techno Spark 20 on the ITEL S24. You get memory fusion that lets you increase RAM on both phones and you can also clone apps on both phones. There's a smart panel that lets you access apps quickly by swiping the side of the screen. There is game mode in the setting of both phones and it optimizes the phone for gaming as well as silent notifications while you are gaming. You can customize both phones to look exactly the same and they have the same amount of both phones and some of them can do. I also haven't seen ads on the interface of both phones even though I've had them for a while. For software updates, nothing officially from the brands but at least is two years of software updates will expand the lifespan of the phones. Software is more of the same and you can't separate them in this aspect. You get 8 gigs RAM on the ITEL S24 and up to 256 gigs of storage space. On the Techno Spark 20, you are getting 4 gigs RAM and 128 gigs of storage space. You can increase the RAM on the Techno Spark 20 to 8 gigs RAM, while the RAM on the ITEL S24 can be expanded to 16 gigs using memory fusion on both phones. The ITEL S24 is powered by a new chipset, which is the Helio G91, while we have the Helio G85 powering the Techno Spark 20. The Helio G91 is a slightly upgraded version of the Helio G85 and it supports camera resolution of up to 108 megapixels. Performance isn't far apart on both phones, you can run some demanding games like PUBG, Call of Duty on both phones and they won't be too much lag. If you are someone who casually scroll around social media and texting, then performance will be excellent for you. In this aspect, you have to give it to the ITEL S24. You are getting more RAM and storage space and a refreshed chipset. The ITEL S24 has a 108 megapixel primary camera, while the Spark 20 comes with a 50 megapixel primary camera. When it comes to photos, the Spark 20 is mostly brighter and the ITEL S24 mostly retain the accurate color and you can see with this plan shot. If this was a blind camera test, I'm sure some people might pick the Spark 20 because of how bright the images look. In low light, the images aren't consistent on both phones and there are times when the Spark 20 images look better. I also use the night mode to take images in low light. Under direct sunlight, the ITEL S24 handles HDR better but images look heavily processed. You can see that the images of the Spark 20 don't have any HDR. You get up to 10x zoom on both phones but the ITEL looks more detailed. 
up front you get an 8 megapixel selfie camera on the itel s24 and it has 2 megapixel selfie shooter on the spark 20. this is where numbers don't tell the full story because i prefer the 8 megapixel shots from the itel s24 or which do you think is better you can shoot 2k videos with most cameras but when you switch to 1080p the itel s24 has an ultra steady mode that keeps the video smooth and less shaky there are also more camera features on the itel s24 they both have a 5000 mAh battery and support 18 watts charging speed. Both brands give you a charger in the box when you buy the phone. Charging from 0 to 100 takes at least 2 hours and the battery life is pretty much the same on both phones. They can last for an entire day on a simple charge. You can even get 2 days of battery if you are a casual user. Battery life is similar on both phones and there isn't anything to take away in this aspect. It's more of a tie. While both phones share some similarities, the ITEL S24 stands out in terms of camera, performance and design, but that might be subjective as some people might prefer the design of the Techno Spark 20. Which phone do you prefer? Let us know in the comments and in case you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section also. That's it for this video and click on the video showing on your screen right now to see my full review of the ITEL S24.